ladies and gentlemen, please uh, welcome to our webinar about use of NDI in AI media servers. This question keeps coming back in our tech support emails, phone calls, occasionally on a Facebook group. So we would like to give you a quick overview how to use NDI with AI and how to out output NDI from AI directly to the network. For those of you who are not familiar with NDI yet, it's a network-based protocol allowing, stri allowing to stream video over any existing network infrastructure. It was developed by NewTek and it's absolutely great. But let's have a look uh, at it in AI. The most typical use or situation you, you would have to use it is when someone shows up on your show very last minute with either own computer, own content, and you have to be able to show whatever they see on the screen right here, right now, including audio. Currently in AI, I'm on a stage construction page and by double clicking on my layer, I can open layer uh, adjustment window. Right at the bottom, uh, you will see external image source Dropbox. Currently it's set to none and my screen uh, and layer one is showing test pattern. On the Dropbox you will see eight NDI inputs and a spout input. Uh, right now we will focus on NDI and as I scroll through them se and select NDI input 1, immediately on my preview you can see that I'm seeing Windows uh, Intern uh, Explorer and that's a live feed coming from one of the servers that are currently on our internal network. My NDI input 2 is a Windows Explorer from the same machine. NDI feed 3 seems to be empty, but my NDI input 4, that's one of the outputs from another AI server I'm running here in a training room in London in Avolite's headquarters. There is a minimum latency, so in a sh even in a show situation you are able to use that NDI as a live input straight from PowerPoint or any presentation software. Another input is an input 5 is a another screen another output streamed directly from from AI uh, from AI server here in the room and by default you can access up to 8 NDI streams in your show please be aware that quality of your stream and the frame rate will heavily depend on what you are sending uh, bandwidth of your network quality of a cabling so be aware that going crazy and trying to send 4K at 60 Hz may be a bit difficult, but as long as you are trying to stream 1920 by 1080 at reasonable 25 or 30 frames, you should be absolutely fine. But that's just the beginning. Because occasionally what may happen, things keep disappearing from the network or reappear, reappear on the network under a different address with it, which is confusing for anything that receives NDI. In that situation we would recommend if, if you lost one of your streams you had there already go to AI button, file, setup and in NDI window press rebuild list. It will effectively refresh all upcoming NDI 
inputs and they it will refresh the references in a AI servers patch so that's the easy bit this is how you would receive NDI and then send it directly to one of your outputs to output NDI from your server you have to go to AI outputs and a stage patch this window over here uh, brings the very basics of salvation internal engine that is running behind the user interface and what we will try to do is to add NDI sender that will output canvas of our fixtures of, of our screen by right clicking at any place in the in the background I will select our insert module, ta module tab go to network and select NDI sender by clicking at canvas out on my fixture which is my screen I will collect connect that to the texture input on my NDI sender but I also have to enable GL output so I will right click again insert module and this time from the GL section select window I will connect my GL output to the window and enable in enable window that enables rendering of a texture and will send NDI stream over the network from my machine if you don't need to send 1920 by 1080 at 30 frames you can edit any of those parameters and output 1280 by 720 and these are basics of working with NDI in AI servers if you have any questions is if there is anything we can help you with please drop us a comment or contact our help uh, our help desk and the tech support thank you very much